So I'm doing this as an update to the RWR for the Hornet countermeasures. I've been kindly informed that the RWR is in fact the opposite of traditional NATO RWRs, and we provided some reference, so thank you very much for that. This is from the VRS Superbug from SS FSX. Now the reason I've originally stated that the closer to the centre the an icon gets, the greater the threat it is to you, is because the manual just states just that, so now we've got conflicting information. Naturally, the Hornets RWR is very much work in progress at the moment. Having looked into this issue in-game, in a bit more depth, I've noticed that it does appear to be working that locked threats do in fact jump from the inside to the outside of the RWR when they lock and launch on you. However, it does not appear like it's behaving like you might expect it to, even so. The icons only appear in the non-lethal range and then jump up to the lethal range when a launch happens, when they should actually be further out on the critical band instead on the outer edge. This means that at present you won't get that last chance to turn back warning that you've suddenly crossed into the lethal range. Instead you'll be in the non-lethal and then suddenly you've been launched on or locked on at the very least. The only warning you have is that lock tone before it launches. So it appears that Eagle Dynamics has goofed and made a mistake in the manual, at least that's the summary I'm coming to. We'll have to wait and see how it develops and I plan on revisiting the RWR when it's more feature complete. <laughs> 